interracial marriages, the act of two people of different marriages marrying each other. Historically, this has always been looked down upon as, in one point of time, there was even laws to prevent people of different races marrying each other. But this has changed over time. The number of interracial marriages has steadily increased from the 1980s and even more so rapidly increased at the start of the 21st century. Skin color has long divided people. The prejudice of racism is worldwide even today. Thus, this question is of great importance even in marriage. The vast majority, 85% of interracial couples counted in the 2006 census involve a white person and a visible minority. But in a country where visible minorities are on a steep incline, so too are marriages among couples from two different visible minority groups, which is closer to 15%. Although interracial marriages have become more common over the past 20 to 30 years or so, there are still a number of people and an entire generation that believe interracial marriages should not exist, as there are certain cultural barriers and problems that could come along with it. We went and interviewed a couple of students to see how they felt about interracial marriages and how negatively the society has taught them to look at it. What is your opinion on interracial marriages? I'm strongly against interracial marriages because I feel like arranged marriages are the best. What's your opinion on interracial marriages? No. Hello. Hi. What is your opinion on interracial marriages? Um, well, uh, I disagree. Uh, I feel like people should be married to people of their same color. Uh, and race. Um, Racist. I feel like, um, uh, like you, you know how like, like bluebirds and bluebirds stay together. Hello. Hi. What is your opinion on interracial marriages? Hmm. Interracial marriages. I don't know anything about them, but I know about arranged marriages. They are the best thing in the world. As, as interracial marriages are on the boom right now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because of the increase in interracial marriages, we also gain a greater understanding of multiculturalism. And that is definitely a good thing for our society as we can develop to become a more understanding world. Looking beyond newlyweds, 6.3% of all marriages were between spouses of different races in 2013, up from less than 1% in 1970. Some racial groups are more likely to intermarry than others. Of the 3.6 million adults who got married in 2013, 58% of American Indians, 28% of Asians, 19% of Blacks, and 7% of Whites have a spouse whose race was different from their own. As Canadians, we are leading in the new trend of interracial marriages, as since we are exposed to so many different cultures, since Canada is a multicultural country, we are more likely to have interracial marriages here in our own home, Canada. Canada has always been something of a mashup, whether by necessity or choice. Our history is marked by the coming together of different groups and races to produce something new. European and Aboriginal, English and the French, old stock and immigrants, our country is often observed is a Métis nation and getting more so. Although there are still a number of people who are against interracial marriages, we also interviewed a number of students who believe that interracial marriages are good and there is a number of things that could come from it that bring a positive impact onto our society. Let's take a look at them right now. What is your opinion on interracial marriages? Um, I support interracial marriages because, um, for example, Canada is a very multicultural uh, country or nation and uh, more people are going to experience their I mean, outside of their own culture and they uh, yeah what is your opinion on interracial marriages i love interracial marriages because it gives me hope the poor uh interracial marriages uh because my parents um in an interracial marriage and I wouldn't be born like this fabulous being wouldn't Dang. be born. So, you're welcome. Scientifically, interracial marriages are actually very healthy for offspring as the more genetically different two people are, the better their offspring will turn out. 
In this sense, we can assume that two people of different races have completely different genes, and when they marry and have a child, that child will more likely be able to live a healthier lifestyle than when two people of the same race marry and produce a child.